the restriction is reversible process. So nowadays, nowadays means from last 15 years, the term intrauterine growth retardation was replaced by the experts as intrauterine growth restriction. So let's talk about it. First is high risk pregnancies. The intrauterine growth retardation due to preeclampsia. So now we will call it restriction. Red blood cells isomerization. Maternal diabetes mellitus, preterm, pre-labor, amniorexis, maternal autoimmune disease, twin pregnancies. These are all high risk. And as we can see, the first in the list is IUGR. Preeclampsia and IUGR associated with an inadequate quality and quantity of the maternal vascular response to placentation. So when the placenta is in demand of vascularity, the proper quantity of blood and the required quality of blood is not being supplied by the maternal vascular system, which can result in adequacy and then ending up in preeclampsia, which can lead to few abnormalities. And the top of list is IUGR. <coughs> Another term is very important to know which is hypoxi hypoxemic hypoxia. As we know, hypoxia is decreased availability of oxygen to the fetus, especially when we are talking about the UGR. Reduced placental perfusion with maternal blood flow. So there is decreased or diminished placental perfusion with maternal blood flow and consequent decrease in fetal arterial blood oxygen contents due to low PO2. IUGR intrauterine growth restriction describes the fetus who has failed to reach its own theoretical normal growth potential. It can be mainly of two types, symmetrical and asymmetrical, or we call it symmetric or asymmetric IUGR. In symmetric IUGR, growth rate decreases from early in pregnancy with a sustained low rate. So the rate of growth is decreased, resulting in growth rate which is decreased. These infants are usually small but presenting reduction of all their external measurements. As, they are, as the name shows it is symmetrical IUGR. So symmetrically whole of the body is small as compared to the dates. So BPD, femur length, abdominal circumference are measured and everything is smaller than the required size at that specific gestational age. In this case, growth decreases from early in pregnancy with a sustained low rate. These infants are usually small, presenting a reduction of all of their measurements. 